you with a video tutorial on how to create a map view that loads a certain location that you set. Uh, this is a tutorial that was in response to a message from Rambo Mambu 9. So if you're watching this, this is how to do the first thing that you requested. So we'll be to create this, we're going to be using Xcode, Interface Builder, and iOS Simulator. Uh, the code really isn't all that complicated, it's just loading in the coordinates of the location into the map view. So let's just get started immediately with the code. So in the next code, we're going to create a new project. We're going to make this a view-based application. Choose. And we're, let's just call this map view. Replace. And here is our empty application. Let's just set this to simulator. And if I build and run right now, you can see here's our blank application. So to load the map view, we're going to have to import a framework that's called MapKit framework. So to do this, just right click on your project, add existing frameworks. And this is alphabetical, so scroll down to where it says mapkit.framework, add it. And as you see, here's our framework. Let's just drag it into the frameworks folder. So now we should have four frameworks, the default three and the mapkit.framework. Now let's go into our classes. Uh, we have two bundles of files. We have the app delegate and the view controller. We don't need to mess anything with the app delegate, so let's jump immediately into the view controller. So uh, here, we're going to be defining mk map view delegate after where it says UI view controller and then we're going to create an mk map view and let's just call this map view and then let's declare our properties monatomic retain ib outlet mk map view and we call this map view and don't forget to import the file that you the framework so the framework just import and mapkit slash m mapkit dot h so that's basically the only changes that you need to make to the view controller uh, as if you have any experience with xcode you can probably already tell this is a rather simple application because there's really not much that you're adding to the header file to add to the main file. So now let's navigate to our main file. So first what we have to do is we have to synthesize the map view that we created. So add synthesize map view. And then after that, we're going to navigate to where it says view did load and we're going to uncomment that. And where it says we do load, we're going to remove super view did load. And we're going to say self dot map view dot map type equals mk map type standard. So basically we're telling the application this is a standard map type. Then we have to load the default location. So we're going to say self location. Let's just call this location. Now, in case you haven't noticed, location is not declared. So what we have to do, we have to declare it first. We have, we have to make sure that we declare lo, go to location before we declare the did load method. So here, we we'll just create a new void. And we call it location. So now we have, we're gonna create an MK coordinate region. And let's just call this region. So basically we're going to import, next bit of code is we're going to import some coordinates that I got from online and we're going to type those in and the coordinates should load a page that shows the map for San Francisco. So to do this we need four uh, coordinates. We need the center latitude, the center longitude, the span latitude delta, and the span longitude delta. So we're going to define all those here. Center. So region.center.latitude equals, and according to my reference, it's 37.786996. Region.center.longitude equals negative 122.440100. 
and region dot span dot basically that's how long it's, how wide it spans latitude delta equals zero point one one two eight seven two and here region finally region span dot longitude delta equals zero point one zero nine eight six three and finally we're gonna say self dot map view dot set region my bad there's no dot set region we're gonna set the region that it shows and it's gonna be region and if we want to animate it we can say animated yes and we're done here so close up that and let's navigate to we don't need the did receive memory warning so we can remove that let's remove all this too we don't want Stuff like this. So as you can see, once I comment out all this, uh, once I remove out all the commented stuff, this is really just like maybe 15 lines of code, 20 lines of code. It's rather simple. Uh, in the view did load method, um, I mean view did unload method, we're going to say self dot map view equals mail, and then finally in the dlock method, we're going to say map view release. To release it from the memory. So now that's all the code that we need to do. Now let's navigate to interface builder, open up that view view controller that XIB. As you can see we have a blank view controller, uh, I mean a blank view. And in, if we navigate to files on there we see the outlet that we created which was called map view. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag in a mk bat view from the library and I'm just going to make it fill up the whole screen. And in the files owner, we're going to link up that view to MK map view. Save and close. And that is all the code. So now if we build and run, and open up the simulator, as you can see it's installing, and here is our map. As you can see, it loaded the coordinates for San Francisco, it's right here. And as you can see, this map is fully functional. I can zoom in and zoom out. This is all loaded from Google. So let's zoom out some more, navigate. But the crucial thing to note is that if I remove this from the memory and I open it up again, it'll always show San Francisco default. So that's really it for the map view tutorial. I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, if it didn't, please rate, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or you would like the code for this, please leave me a message or add a comment or something. And I can email the code to you or help you with any issues that you may have. Um, so yeah, rate, subscribe, and I hope this helped you out a lot. Thanks.